Being fit is everyone's dream, but the process of attaining fitness is not so easy and most importantly, it's boring. You go to the gym, pay your subscription fee. With full motivation, you start your journey of fitness. But just one week into the gym, energy levels are gone. You are using the same equipment and repeating the same exercise again and again. Nothing new happens and this process becomes boring. But what if the process of fitness can be made interesting? What if workout has an element of fun? That's where QoFit comes into picture. So in this episode, let's understand how QoFit disrupted the fitness industry. The story of QoFit starts with Cult. Cult is a Bengaluru-based fitness startup focused on training programs that use no machine or equipment. Yes, you heard it right. Workout without any equipment. That's how they want to differentiate themselves from the traditional gyms. Cult was started in 2015 by two fitness enthusiasts, Deepak Podwal and Rishabh Taleng, with a base capital of 75 lakhs. Cult provides a mix of martial arts, yoga and outdoor activities that have fitness at their core. Their gyms have neither treadmills nor fancy all-in-one fitness machines, but it contains boxing rings, jump ropes, etc. It's a totally different kind of workout experience and people loved it. Within one year, Cult became the most popular fitness destination in Bengaluru. Around the same time, two entrepreneurs, Mukesh Bansal, who was the founder of Mintra, and Ankit Nagori, who was the former chief business officer at Flipkart, started a fitness startup called CureFit. They were really impressed by the Cult's fitness model, and in 2016, Cult was acquired by CureFit for $3 million. After that, company rapidly expanded its operations and entered into different verticals. Their strategy was always been to integrate technology with fitness which none of the gyms were doing at that time. So they created a CureFit application. The application operations are mainly divided into EatFit, CultFit, MindFit and CareFit. EatFit is a subscription-based healthy food delivery system, whereas CultFit using which user can attend live sessions online or even book slots for the offline workout. MindFit provides assistance in mental fitness. CareFit provides medical and diagnostic services. And finally, Cult Sport, which is an online store for premium workout wear. All these services bundled into one application. But why CureFit offers these many services? They can just provide workout sessions, right? That's all fitness is about. But that's not totally right. The philosophy they believe in is that fitness is not just about your muscle. You need to eat healthy food to supplement your workout. Along with that, your mental health is also important and your medical fitness is most crucial thing. All of them are interconnected and CureFit provides all these services in one place. They created a whole ecosystem which promises guaranteed fitness to the user. CureFit totally disrupted the fitness industry with this idea. A long-term and unique business plan put forth by Mukesh and Ankit has attracted the attention of some big league investors such as Kalari Capital, SL Partners, IDG Ventures, Oak Tree Capital and finally Bollywood star Hrithik Roshan. He himself invested 6 crores in CureFit. He is also the brand ambassador for CureFit. In 2017, he signed a 100 crore deal to act as brand ambassador for the next five years. That's a huge amount, but that makes sense. Especially when you're in a fitness industry, you want fitness freak like Hrithik Roshan to be face of your company. It adds a lot of credibility and positive image for the company. CureFit was valued at 5,490 crores in April 2020. This valuation must have come down mainly due to the impact of COVID-19. Customer experience is at the core of CureFit business model. They targeted the working population who barely have time for working out and for whom following a standard schedule is difficult. So they customized their services as per the requirement of customer. Irrespective of the category you choose to interact with them, whether it is cult fit or mind fit, 
They have ensured that the process is simplified through an integration of technology and human connection. For example, once a person decides to join Cultfit, he or she needs to simply go to Play Store and download the app, buy the desired pack and book the slot for your class all through a mobile device. Even at the center, a center manager will be there to make the transition smooth by guiding all necessary steps. At Cult, no workout is done in isolation. All the workouts are done in group. Every class at Cult ends with a huddle where the trainer provides an inspirational speech and all the members shout out loud that we are a cult. To top it up, the special attention from the trainers and charming banners in the background ensures the first class customer experience. The whole idea revolves around an individual attaining their fitness goals, which just behaves the way how SIPs function in case of mutual funds. The longer we keep investing, the better are the chances of getting returns. Even at Cult, the pricing is centered by encouraging users to opt for 6 month or 12 month subscriptions by offering them lower prices compared to daily or monthly plans. It ensures that company is getting good cash flow and at the same time long term customer association. The sports, fitness and wellness industry in India expected to be worth $90 billion by 2022, growing at a compounding rate of 17%. The driving factors for this growth include change in urban lifestyle and increasing awareness about the health and fitness. And CureFit entered the market just at the right time with the right product. Today, CureFit is physically present in 130 plus locations across 4 cities and virtually they are available all across India through their app. They even have their fitness center in Dubai. To boost their expansion, they have acquired fitness startups like Tri Fitness. Serenity, Christie's Kitchen, and a Thousand Yoga. All these acquisitions complement CureFit's existing business. For example, a Thousand Yoga aligned to MindFit. Fitness First is aligned to CultFit. That's a strategic win for the company. But then, COVID-19 happened. Suddenly, no one is going out and fitness industry is one of the worst impacted. CureFit had to downsize some of its staff and close down operations temporarily in some cities. But having the technology integration from the start helped the company in providing online classes and maintaining that connect with its customers. How well they managed COVID-19 crisis deserves video of its own. Now, as India peaked its COVID-19 cases, CureFit is slowly starting back its operations. From the start, the founders were clear about what they wanted to do and technology was always at the core of their business model. Their objective was to make it super easy for people to lead a healthy lifestyle across food, physical fitness, mental well-being and primary healthcare through one single platform. And they did it. And in that process, they totally disrupted and revolutionized the fitness industry. So that's the video guys. If you like my content, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to smash that bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching. This is Curious Monk signing off.